in the past requiring a submissive woman just the idea of a submissive woman felt risky for a lot of black men it felt like you were jumping out of an airplane with a parachute but with the black manosphere we've problem solved and we've deduced and calculated what the problems are in the black community so now when it comes to problem solving and we talk about submissive women submissive women feels like the solution and so what used to feel high risk in the past about submissive women and, and having a submissive wife maybe felt risky it, it felt like jumping out of a plane and or parasailing or hang gliding walking over you know or, or what do you call mountaineering where you're walking on some mountain on some some cliff on a mountain it used to feel high risk but now black men have learned to embrace the idea of submission so i want to give a shout out to the manosphere i just saw ron wills do a video about this i watched dennis sperling do a video about submissive women i you know i've been talking about it all year now in 2021 i did a video on bernard's channel about that and it's, it's not just me, it's not just Rom, it's not just Dennis Sperling. I was on Roger's channel today, and more and more black men in the chat were writing about submissive women. You're just seeing that more and more. And what you realize as a black man, as a black man, is that we know what the problems are. We know the black manosphere has, has created a framework of what is impacting the black community most. And more and more black women themselves are actually starting to figure this out. So right here, like in this video, you're like the school teacher. Now this is no ordinary school teacher right here. This is a university professor. His name is Jelani Nelson. He's a professor out of, well, he's worked at Princeton. He's worked at MIT. He's worked at Harvard. He's got his PhD. I think he's got his PhD from Harvard in computer science so it looks like here he's he's teaching a 200 level computer science class well that's like the black manosphere where where we've educated ourselves i mean we don't got phds but well, some of some of actually some of us do have phds it's not true but what he but what we've done is we have came up with what the problems are in the black community and then what we've done is figured out some solutions now, one of the solutions has been Ibmore on, and pretty much on one half of the Black Manosphere, and then on the other half is kind of is, is that your SYSBM brothers, and most Black men pretty much fit in one of those two camps for the most part. And I'm not saying everybody claims to be either or, but even if they don't claim those acronyms, they kind of fit into one camp. I think you understand that. Well, even that those in themselves, those SYSBM brothers, those Ibmore brothers. We might not all say the word submission. We might, might not all talk about submission, but at the end of the day, that's what we're saying that we're requiring because the average brother that dates a non ados woman, a black woman, a, a black man who dates a white woman, an Asian woman, a Latino woman, any other woman other than ados woman, 99 times out of 100, that's because she's submissive. That's why. It's not because, not because of skin color. It's not because they're trying to escape their own blackness. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. It's because the woman's awesome. She treats him right. She makes him happy. She's presented herself as a woman who would make a great wife and a great mother and wants to get on this program and wants to make him happy. And not only wants to make him happy, but generally these women find happiness from making them happy. They do, these women derive pleasure from making black men happy. So these black men are with these women because they are submissive. Doesn't feel high risk. See, it's like jumping out of a plane. When you, when a man goes skydiving or parasailing, parasailing or, or hang gliding, it could seem very frightening at first because you you know you're jumping off in, in in what seemingly is supposed to be a free fall, you know. You, five for 500 feet up in the air off the side of some cliff or you jump out of an airplane 
And some people are so terrified they pass out trying to do that. So it's a lot of times, the first couple of times you do that, you're going to want to have somebody hold on to. You're going to need a partner. But what you find is once that fear subsides, that fear is replaced by exhilaration. And this is why you're seeing more and more black men who maybe two years ago, five years ago, you know, 10 years ago, black men saying that we require a submissive woman. They go, oh, no, we're not going to do that. We don't we don't even want that. We don't we don't need like a submissive, weak, you know, woman that's, you know, we like a woman that that's confident and and is self-actualized and, you know, and she's strong and independent. We sort of thought that was kind of a good thing. But what we and, and we'd say that we didn't want a submissive woman. But in 2021, you start to see black men are saying, no, I do. If I'm going to have a, a have a wife, if I'm going to start a family, it has to be with a submissive woman. And black men are starting to see the joy in that. And the more as black men really start to understand that when you're in a relationship with a submissive woman, it brings great joy into your life. It's ex it can be ex as exhilarating as parasailing or hang gliding. It can be an amazing experience. And when you can communicate com communicate that to women, then women go, well, I want to have a great relationship. I want to have an exhilarating relationship with a man. And then more and more women stop, start to adopt the idea of being a submissive wife themselves. So I'm thrilled to see Dr. Dennis or Mr. Dennis Sperling and Mr. Ron Wills and other black male content creators talk about submission. I'm also happy when I see women like the Crimson Cure. When she talks about submission, and she's been talking talking about that for a while. I watched Danica Marie talk about submission. A matter of fact, she wrote, submission is not a bad thing right there on a couple of her videos because she understands that black women and black men do need to, especially women need to accept the idea of submission being a great benefit to each individual and to the family structure and to the black community. So in 2021, black men are requiring submission, even when we don't say it. Because it mores, it mores basically saying, look man, I don't need a submissive woman I, because I don't need a woman. I don't really need a woman. I could just be single. I can travel the world. I can, you know, have a lot of fun and go on dates, but I don't have to have these, you know, long lasting commitments to women that, you know, that aren't going to be submissive anyways. And even if they are submissive, I probably don't want that. But, but we know that because of the stance that they have towards women, but but they are saying though, is the reason I'm this way is because women aren't submissive. So if you're not going to be a submissive woman and play your role the way I need you to play the your role within a great family structure that I want to create, then I'm just not going to mess with you at all. I'm just going to put my cards on the table and say, this is where I'm at. The culture is so far to the left that I'm just not going to participate. So in in so indirectly they are requiring submission because they said we're striking we're not going to participate we're pulling out of this all this toxic uh, romance that we see that has permeate permeated black culture and gynocratic culture and they go no i'm not going to participate so indirectly they're requiring submission too because they're forcing women's hand to really start to contemplate real changes that have to be made and you start to see these others this is why you see an explosion with kevin samuels he's another man that's another black content creator who's been talking about submission for quite a while now he says black men want cooperation submission height weight proportionate great attitudes no kids you know and he's got his list of of things that most men most men want but nothing out of Everything that we talk about in the black manosphere, beyond a shadow of a doubt, submission is the number one thing that's most important to us. And the more that we talk about it, the more that black men embrace the idea for sub of submission and the concept of submission, 
as something that we require from women for ourselves, the more the idea and the concept of submission grows and starts to permeate the greater culture. Because as black men, we want to be we want to be known as family men, great husbands, great fathers, men who require quality women so we can have quality relationships, so we can have quality families and quality communities and quality outcomes. We want to be high performers. There's nothing, there is no better solution to help the black community that each and every one of us can participate in today more than requiring submission from women that you date. That needs to be the baseline standard for black men in the black community. Requiring submission from women should be the baseline standard for every black man in America. Now, every man may not be ready to be in a relationship. Oh, that's obviously true. Every black man might not be ready for submission. A lot of black men, sadly, have never really entertained or, or really contemplated the idea of submission through no, salt, no, through no fault of their own. It's just the culture, has, you know, black culture is not really fostered and facilitated the concept of submission being something that black men should really want for themselves. Many of us have never, have really never focused in on that. But it's up to, it's up to those of us who do understand to champion that idea, to spread that concept of submission for black men. It's a gift. It's a gift from black men to black men. And it's a benefit to everyone. You see, because over time, it's gonna, it's gonna take some time. But over time, as more and more black men start to embrace and 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 honor the, the the concept of submission what's going to happen is you're going to have more and more women start to respect and embrace and honor the idea of submission too they're going to say i want a man who requires submission i want a man like that and there's a lot of women like that now that's why you see why sb why S S y sbm is so is so prevalent in the black community when you have 20 25 percent of all new black male marriages are interracial and that number jumps up to 30 percent for college educated those black men with bachelor's degree or higher that jumps up to 30 percent and who knows in four or five more years that was back in 2015 i believe that was from 2015 that data about 25 percent is 2021 so that's six years ago. In four more years, that, that number might be 35% or, or 40%. Who knows what that number will be? And based off what I'm saying with my own two eyes, it's gonna be quite a bit higher because I'm seeing a lot, I've seen a lot of black men date non-black women or may even marry non-black women. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. I would actually like to see less of that uh, given if, if the circumstances were better, I would love to see see less of that. But I understand completely completely why black men are, are marrying out because there's not a lot of black women that do want to be, there's not enough black women that want to be submissive with black men. And part of the problem why black women aren't submissive is because the culture doesn't facilitate and doesn't champion and doesn't foster the concept of submission for black women. And matter of fact, it does the opposite. It says you need to be strong and independent. Well, when a little girl is raised in that culture and she's separated from her father and her mother was built, was raised in this gynocratic culture with well, a young girl who's, you know, she might be six years old or she might be in middle school. She might be in high school. She really doesn't have the, a real opportunity to be groomed into the type of wife that would be that would make a, a the type of woman that would make a great wife when she gets older for a black man so then when she gets older and she you know she maybe she's unruly or she chooses single motherhood or she waits just to you know till she's way past her prime to really start to settle down and then we go oh look at you you know look at you you didn't, you didn't get married you didn't want to you didn't want to do this you didn't want to do it the right way you know and we and we get mad and i you know and, and we can get upset and we can say things that can, can be ugly at times but we need to also focus in on solutions. Now, this guy here in the video, 
He's a he's a, he's a real deal professor. His name's Jelani Nelson, the brother with the dreads. He's born in Los Angeles. He moved to the Caribbean. He's got a, a black Ados father and an Ethiopian mother. Well, he ended up going to Harvard. He's worked at Harvard, went to Harvard. He worked at Princeton. He's worked at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, which is which is a which is a big time technology, uh, a, a, a very prestigious university for technology. He's got his PhD in computer science. And so he's, he's up in the here in the sophomore level computer science, uh, computer science class teaching. Well, that's sort of like the black manosphere where we're teaching black men about how to solve problems about cracking the code, about developing a new culture for ourselves, something that's that's feasible, that works for us, that restores the community, that's rooted in truth, that's rooted in love for black men and love for black women. There's no hate, there's nobody, there's no coon, there's no real coons, there are, there are, there's no real coons in the black manosphere. You may have some interracial daters, you may have you know, you got your pro-blacks, you know, pro-blacks got their little issues too, you know, interracial daters got the, we got our, we got our issues too, everybody got their little issues, but those of us in the black manosphere, no matter if you're SYSBM or you're Ibmore, I don't look at us as, as, as that much different at all. I don't even look at us as two sides on the same coin. I look at us, I look at us as on both sides of the same table perhaps on separate ends like one half is, of us is on this side of the table but on the same side and then the, and the other half is still on the same side of the table but it's still on the other half but we're still sitting at the same ta table trying to save some trying to solve the same problems now we may have a different we may think we actually we may think we might have a different way of solving these problems but I don't think we do I think we're both I think whether we articulate it or not, it's obvious to me that at this point, what black men are saying is that we are requiring submissive women. And we won't have no woman or we'll go get a new woman rather than deal with a non-submissive Eidos woman. And we've been holding that foot to the fire and been standing on our square like that for years now. And it's starting to pay dividends as black men Continue to require submission from women for yourself and for your family structure and for a repair of the black community. Now I know I know some guys say, "Well, out of y'all, you know, let it burn. It's too it's too far out of control." I get that. I get that. Still require submission submission from women. Stand on that square. Let people know, let the world know that black men want to be family men. And if we can't be family men with a great wife, and for you Edmore brothers, you let them know. If I can't be a family man with a submissive, quality, cheerful, loyal, amazing wife with natural hair, who's sweet and honest and loyal, then I don't want her then. I just don't, I don't, I don't want her then. Cause that's what we're doing so we just need to stand on that square man talk about ground game man the black manosphere ground game is make is, is kicking ass right now and the message is starting to spread so let it keep evolving brothers let it keep evolving it's just it, it over time what you're gonna find is black you know what black women are gonna start to say man they're gonna start to say i want to be a submissive wife i Let's let's as black women, let's start our own submissive black woman Facebook group. Teach us, talk to us, black man. Talk to us about what you want and what it means to be submissive, because making you happy makes me happy.